Well, new at six, a school bus scramble today in Martin County. Families at dozens of bus stops around the school district got calls this morning and this afternoon telling them to find a different ride to school. There weren't enough school bus drivers available to work. And WPTV News Channel 5's Megan McRoberts tells us what's being done to try to fix this. A district spokeswoman tells me that there were three bus routes that were impacted this morning, two during the afternoon. And keep in mind, there are anywhere from eight to ten stops on each route. So now there is more urgency than ever, according to the district, to hire more bus drivers or more subs amidst an overall labor shortage. When this is your primary way of getting your kids to and from school, any hiccup or delay makes for a stressful start to the day. I got fourth and first. Gregory Davis's children's bus stop in Jensen Beach was one of several dozen in a county that saw big delays Friday morning. He got a message from the school district around 6 a.m. warning him to consider finding his students another ride. The district said staffing was too short, so he took them to school. I mean, I don't mind driving the kids to school, but there's parents that don't have that luxury of being able to take their kids to school. We were able to hopefully get the parents to notice in time that they could make alternate arrangements to transport their children to school. School district spokeswoman Jennifer DeShazo says a labor shortage across different career fields is also impacting school transportation. All year they've been able to be creative with working with a shortage in drivers and subs, but this morning there just weren't enough people available to fill all the gaps. So this was the first time this year they've had to send out a message like this. Today there weren't enough substitutes and there weren't enough staff members that could cover those particular routes. So we had to get creative and send out messaging and they were covered. They were just covered late for those particular routes. DeShazo says most families found another way to school. Just four students had to be picked up on a bus sent later. During the afternoon, though, DeShazo said some students faced getting home an hour late. Now they're pleading with people to consider applying to drive. And the district says that anyone interested in helping, they will put you through training to get your CDL license. We put all that information on our website, WPTV.com. In Martin County, Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.